First of all, an angel in the Bible is called a watcher. So, when we talk about watchers, we are actually referring to the angels. The word appears in the book of Daniel, 4th to 2nd century BC, in both plural and singular forms, where it is used to describe the holiness of the beings. Both good and bad watchers are mentioned in the apocryphal books of Enoch, 2nd to 1st centuries BC, with a particular emphasis on the disobedient ones. Three references to the category of watcher, or holy one, watcher, Aramaic, holy one, Aramaic, Kadesh, can be found in the book of Daniel 4 verse 13, verse 17, and 23 ESV. Nebuchadnezzar introduces the phrase by stating that he witnessed the watcher, a holy one come down, singular verb, from heaven in a dream. And this is what he heard. The punishment is by the decree of the watchers, the demand by the word of the holy ones, so that the living may know that the most high rules in the kingdom of men, the watcher says in his dream, according to the man's account. Nebuchadnezzar will also eat grass and go insane. Daniel muses over the king's dream for an hour before answering. This is the interpretation, O king, it is a decree of the Most High, which has come upon my lord. The king saw a watcher, a holy one, coming down from heaven and saying, Chop down the tree and destroy it, but leave the stump of its roots in the earth, bound with a band of iron and bronze, in the tender grass of the field, and let him be wet with the dew of heaven, and let his portion be with the beasts of the field. You will be forced to consume grass like an ox, be covered in the dew of heaven, and experience seven cycles of time until you realize that the Most High rules the kingdom of men and distributes it to whomever he pleases. Johann Wigand, a Lutheran Protestant reformer, believed that the Watcher in Nebuchadnezzar's dream represented either God or the Son of God. By connecting verse 17, this matter is by the decree of the Watchers, and verse 24, he promoted Trinitarian thinking, this is the decree of the Most High. As an effort by the author of this part of Daniel to show Nebuchadnezzar's Babylonian gods as acknowledging the power of the God of Israel as the Most High, scholars believe, watchers, holy ones, may show an influence of Babylonian religion. The Aramaic text is unclear as to whether verse 14 is being narrated by Nebuchadnezzar or the watcher in his dream, which is where the Greek Septuagint version departs from the Aramaic Masoretic text. The fall of the Watchers is a major focus of the first book of Enoch in the books of Enoch. The Watchers, which in Greek is called Egregoroi, are in the fifth heaven where the fall occurred, are addressed in the second book of Enoch. The unfallen observers are highlighted in the third book of Enoch. In the book of Enoch, the word, Watchers is frequently used. The phrase iron we kadishin, Watchers and Holy Ones, from the book of the Watchers, 1 Enoch 6 verse 36 is found in the Aramaic fragments and alludes to Daniel in Aramaic. Although the usual Aramaic term for an angel, Malaka, does not appear in the Aramaic Enoch, the Greek and Ethiopian translations of the Aramaic word for watchers, iron, translated as angel, in Greek, angelos, and in Coptic, mala. According to one interpretation of the Sons of God passage in Genesis 6, Angels mated with human females to produce a race of hybrids known as the Nephilim. Some have attempted to date this section of 1 Enoch to sometime in the 2nd to 1st century BC. IRI Watcher, singular is also used to refer to the obedient archangels who chain them, including Raphael. The term iron is primarily used to refer to the disobedient watchers, who total 200 and whose leaders are also named. 1 Enoch 22 verse 6. The watchers in the book of Enoch are angels sent to earth to keep an eye on the inhabitants. They soon develop a lust for human women and, encouraged by their leader Samiaza, defect in large numbers to secretly teach humanity and have children among them. The Nephilim, savage giants that plunder the earth and endanger humanity, are the offspring of these unions. Additionally, Samiaza and his associates taught their human charges, arts and technologies like weaponry, cosmetics, mirrors, sorcery, and other skills that humans would not have learned all at once but rather gradually over time. God eventually permits the great flood to wipe out the Nephilim, but not before sending Ariel to warn Noah to spare the human race. Until Judgment Day, 
The watchers are imprisoned in the valleys of the earth. Jude verse 6 says, And the angels which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, he hath reserved in everlasting chains under darkness unto the judgment of the great day. The following is a list of the chiefs of tens found in the book of Enoch, and the names of their chiefs are as follows. They had Shemahaza as their leader, Artikoff, after him, Remashal is next to him. Kokabel came in fourth, followed by Armumahel in fifth, Ramel in sixth, Daniel in seventh, Sickle in eighth, Barakal in ninth, and Asael in tenth. He ranked Hermani as the eleventh person, Madarel as the twelfth, Ananel as the thirteenth person, Sedawal as the fourteenth person, Samshil as the fifteenth person, Sariel as the sixteenth person, Tumiel as the seventeenth person, Turiel as the eighteenth person, Yamiel as the nineteenth person, and Yehadiel as the twentieth person. These are the chiefs of the ten land groups. The Book of Enoch also includes a list of the two hundred fallen angel leaders who got hitched, started having sex with human women, and spread forbidden knowledge. The Book of Raziel, Sefer Raziel Hamalek, the Zohar, and Jubilees all include a list of some of them. Genesis 6 verses 1 to 4, which refers to sons of God rather than watchers, has been linked to the story of the Book of Enoch. The sons of God took as many of the daughters of man as they desired as wives when men started to proliferate on earth, and daughters started to be born to them. Then the Lord declared, Since man is only flesh, my spirit shall not abide in man for all time. One hundred twenty years will make up his days. The Nephilim first appeared on earth at that time, following a sexual encounter between the sons of God and human daughters who later gave birth to their sons. They were the legendary heroes from the past. The Grigori, who are the same as the Watchers of One Enoch, are mentioned in the Jewish Pseudoepigraphon's second book of Enoch, Slavonic Enoch. The Greek word oedogoroi, which means wakeful, is transliterated into the Slavic word griffith, which is used in the book. The equivalent word in Hebrew is, which means, waking or awake. The Grigori are depicted in chapter 18 as countless soldiers who resemble humans, their size being greater than that of great giants. They are described as the Grigori, who with their prince Satanael rejected the Lord of Light, and they are in the fifth heaven. In one edition of 2 Enoch, it is stated that there were 200 myriads of them, which is 2 million in number. Additionally, some came down to earth from the Lord's throne and lived there where they befouled the earth with their deeds and were imprisoned beneath the surface. Although Andre Orloff quotes the text as saying three, he adds in a footnote that some manuscripts place the number of those who descended to earth at 200 or even 200 myriads. The number of those who descended to earth is typically put at three. The second day of creation, prior to the creation of humans, is described in chapter 29 as the time when one from the order of angels or in other translations of two Enoch, one of the order of archangels or one of the ranks of the archangels conceived an impossible thought, to place his throne higher than the clouds above the earth, in order to become equal in rank to the Lord's power. He was then expelled from the height by the Lord and his angels, and he was continuously flying above the bottomless. Although only in the heading of one manuscript is the name Satanael mentioned in this chapter, Satanael and his angels, the Grigori, are frequently referred to in this chapter. In the fifth heaven, Enoch sees the giants whose brothers were the fallen angels, according to the Mercer Dictionary of the Bible, which distinguishes between the Grigori and the fallen angels. The angels of Satanael are identified as the second heaven's inmates in the longer recension of 2 Enoch 18 verse 3. The myth of the Watchers is said to have originated in Lebanon when Aramaic writers attempted to decipher the imagery on Mesopotamian stone monuments without being able to read their Akkadian text, according to Jonathan Bendov of the University of Haifa. According to Amar Anas of the University of Tartu, the Watchers were created as parodies of the Mesopotamian Apkalu, who provided wisdom to mankind before the Flood, which is portrayed as a corrupting influence in Enochian literature. Ancient Book of Enoch.
is a book that was quite popular during the first 700 years of church history, but then faded from sight. Nobody republished it. It disappeared until the Book of Enoch was rediscovered in the Ethiopian region of Abyssinia. Thank for your support.